Hey guys, this is the Maverick 427 and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. We are going to try and actually go to Herbology class this time without getting distracted by side quests. Run down the stairs, run down the stairs, run down the stairs. You shouldn't actually run down the stairs, it's dangerous. Kids do not try this at home. I really have made Incendio. a Ah, great. Someone asked me to help. Alright, what you messed up? Is everything alright? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way. And I'm afraid everything's not alright. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You yeah. see, I'm fond of creating my own mm. charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That's pretty cool. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Why did our meat tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. Okay. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. Ooh. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. I'm gonna go read your diary. But no, 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 herbology, herbology class. Wow, it's a tree. The greenhouse tree. That makes sense. It's in the greenhouse. Revelio. What, what are you guys looking at? They really shouldn't allow food and drinks in the common room. Stepped in a puddle of butter beer the other day. Well, this place is fancy. Study time. That plant has teeth. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. This is super awkward. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Now then, Today, we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Okay. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Join. What the hell? Quickly, place your bandwidth in the new port and cut down the squirrel. Come on, get in there, get in there. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Why would you grow this thing? Repair I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. Does that one scream too? You can all get started. I need to have a brief word. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like knot grass. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. Revelio. Levioso. Accio. Okay, we can't do anything with that yet. I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. Most strange. Did you know that you can use the mandrake to defend yourself? Why, the very idea. Yeah, I assume you just pick it up and throw it at the person and just screams him to death. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Niffler's fancy, or rose. I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. Pardon me, Professor. What am I supposed to do with the Disney seeds? Your part in all this floral alchemy is simple. Take the seeds to your potting table, plant them, and then wait for harvest time. Okay. I assume this is my potting table. Revelio. Okay, they take ten months to grow. Okay. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Okay. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there, but your lead. Cool, chomping cabbages. That sounds safe. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh, well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honor. And uh, Ravenclaws too. At least we I don't know, it sounds like you just fight to lose. Gotta fight dirty man. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on, 
grab a few of those cabbages. Just mind your fingers. I almost lost a thumb once. Don't worry. Nurse Blaney put it back on. Trust me, you do not want to go through that. So I'll just like grab it. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Hold tab. Oh shit, I have tools. Look at that! They'll chop them anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. Booba tubers. Kind of plants that have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Trust me, Leander. I was imagining it the entire time. You were? I mean, of course. You're, uh, not someone to be trifled with. I see that. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we, uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your uh, time. I'll see you back in class. Can, can I pick that up? Yeah! Okay. It exploded itself. Ooh, I'm gonna grab a few more of these. Revelio. Dirigible plums. Okay. Anything else in here? Nope. Yeah. I can't climb stairs. Let's go back to Professor Garlic. She's very cheerful. Okay, we made it back. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our lesson here. What? Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. What did, we, what did I miss? What happened to Mr. Clopton? How many thumbs did he lose? I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Um, sure. Is my plant growing yet? Those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damned hearing. Okay. A few more minutes. Okay, so oops. No no no. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, let me go to something safer. Yeah, okay. I wanna simply throw deadly plants around like that. Incendio. Yeah, I don't trust that thing. Okay, what's our next quest? Where are we going to go? Potions class! Yes, I want to make potion. Yeah, I guess we're going to use our Dittany to make a Healy potion. Rebellion. Uh, how do we get out? This way. More Dittany. Anything down this way, I wonder. Doesn't look like it. To the potionaries. No. It's definitely something. Oh. Central Hall Fountain. Person. 
Why won't she just let us use Gilly with Okay, I was wondering what that sound was there. Uh, oh. Wait, is that? Oh no, you can't go out. Okay. Shouldn't there be auras or someone from the Ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade? Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. <laughs> yeah, I don't like him either. Revelio. Okay, let's go. Learn potions. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Hmm. He has a limp. I assume that's one of the things a Wigan World potion can't heal. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Clearly, I do know what I'm doing. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Okay. My parents considered Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Auror. I wish he talked about it more. I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wigan Weld potion. Oh, thank you. That means a lot coming from a fellow Ravenclaw. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wigan Weld potion on their first try. Well done. Professor Sharp didn't seem as impressed as you are. Don't take it personally. Professor Sharp wouldn't be impressed by a troll reciting the tales of Beetle the Bard backwards. And in Gobbledygook. A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. Mm -hmm. Merlin's beard, good conversation, is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. Okay, let's go get our push. I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office. He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. 
but she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Ajurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Thwooper feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. Mm. That sounds like a terrible idea, but I do want to see what the potion does. I'll so. get you the Thwooper feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Thwooper feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. If they're not fa that valuable, why can't you find one on your own? Keep your Revelio. Ashwanda eggs. Chest. Borgen and Burks. Borgen and Burks has had an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours. Particularly in the wee hours of the night with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more auras to join those that have already been watching the shop. You are among the new additions. Further instructions to follow. So the potion guy has an aura. Mongol fur. Rebellion. This does not look rare. This, I mean, this does not look common. It looks super rare. That's a fruper. Your potion should not be that color, Miss McDowell. Here's the fruper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you. This is going to take a moment to brew. Don't you shout. You get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Be quiet. We're trying to be sneaky here, dude. Should you chop the didney or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. Okay. So I can make another wig and mouth potion. Uh, maybe we should just make a couple. Okay. Actually have to wait in real time. Because it makes it more realistic. And I guess it gives you more reason to buy them instead of brewing them yourself. Okay, let's make the Eridus potion. And now I have 30 seconds of time to fill with my talking. Eridus potion. A potion that enhances the drinker's defense by covering them with a durable rocky skin. I wonder if you like look visually rocky. Or if it just is like a stat defense increase. How much does it increase your defense by, I wonder? I guess we'll find out. Okay. Yeah, let's just make more of these. Because I feel like we're going to need it. We're going to go get uh, messed up a few times. I've already died once. And yeah, one more. I don't think we need to save our ingredients for anything else. Mm, two, one, and boom. What else can we do? Maxima potion, visibility potion, focus potion, and thunderbrew potion. That one sounds powerful. Okay. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Get it. Oh. 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 Yeah. What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Rebellio. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Oops. Professor Sharp said that Wiganweld potion can treat injuries. Hope I never need it. 
I weaken well potions, utter rubbish. Wish I could just replace it with one from J. Pippins. Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. Hmm. Remember, let's, precision is key. Let's stick around here. Value. Before we get thrown out of his class for helping with the uh, stealing net. Ah, there we go. He is an aura. Aura is comprised of ministries, magical law enforcement, and protect the wizarding world from all sorts of threats, particularly those posed by dark magic. This aura badge belongs to Professor Sharp. So, uh, I brewed an Adura's potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I think we just own up. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Okay. We didn't get in trouble. Like each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Well. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. Hmm. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. Yeah, I'm not happy you steal stuff Greetings. again. I understand you're quite the enterprising young Ravenclaw. Professor Fig tells me you found a long lost book for him. I'd like to talk to you about it. Okay, we have our voicemail. Cool. You know what I want to see? Uh, let's go up to our room. Oops. That's not what I want to press. Well, it's a good thing we use that potion now. Can I... Yeah. I need to rebound that key. It's too dangerous. But for now, I want to go back to our common room. Um, where is it? Yeah, there we go. Because I want to see if in our common room we can brew potions and plant stuff or anything. Or if we have to do it in like the herbology class and stuff. Revelio. Lucky for us, we have Professor Weasley. Good thing Professor Weasley takes her role seriously, since Black clearly has no interest in his. What was the Ministry thinking? Putting what is the house chest for? Yeah, let's go back to our room. Uh, how do you get to your room? Wait, we were downstairs, weren't we? Yeah. Yeah, we have five. Okay. Doesn't look like we have any way to brew potions or anything. We have our owl. Okay, nothing new. We still need to name you. 
Hmm. I think we called you Wighead. Yeah, Wighead. That's me, Maverick and Wighead. Oh yeah. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode and if you want to see more Hogwarts Legacy, please subscribe to the channel. Mav out.